Well, it is that time. Part three, selling at the local flea market. You guys have been killing it. You guys have been loving it. So I want you guys to stop and smash the like button. I want to get 200 likes on this video. If you guys want me to continue doing this every single week, wake it up at 4.30 a.m. and you know, just grinding, making these videos for you guys. I want you guys to smash the thumbs up button. So I'll wait a couple minutes, hit the like button, so now that you guys like the video, it is currently 6.05, I just got in line and I'm actually, you could see the front through the foggy window and then it wraps all the way around and then I am in line right here. Uh, today is Thursday so it is going to be the free day. It's currently 58 degrees out right now which for Florida that is freezing. So I'm hoping that that doesn't deter people to not want to come to the swap shop. I'm hoping that there's a good amount of people. Comment down below, how much do you think I'm going to make today? I'll probably stay till about 11, 12, just like the normal hours, um, unless it's crazy busy. Or if it's crazy slow, then maybe I'll even leave early. Uh, like I said, it is a free day. I do have to pay for the tables. It's $3 each table. I'm going to get two tables, so that's $6. Uh, but it's better than spending $26. So we'll see how it is. Uh, last Thursday, I did excellent. I made about... Uh, $500 for four hours so if we could do that again hey I'll be blessed uh, for a Thursday you know you, you really can't go wrong I brought almost the same stuff I brought more jackets that you guys didn't see I brought the same shoes that I've been bringing every single time I did bring some new shoes uh, if you guys saw yesterday's trip to the thrift we did get some sneakers so I brought those um, I'm not in a rush to sell them though actually wait a minute if you guys saw yesterday's video of Plato's Closet, you guys saw I got sneakers. Um, not the thrifting video. I got about Plato's Closet. I got three pairs of Jordans, one pair of Air Forces, um, and I think that's it. But I did bring those, but I am going to be asking high prices because you guys saw at Plato's Closet I did have to pay up uh, versus at thrift stores I get them for, you know, five, ten dollars a piece. Plato's Closet I paid twenty to thirty dollars a piece. But that's no problem because like I said, those Jordans I can easily double my money. Um, so I'm going to bring them here. We'll see how it goes. Uh, people are honking because the gate should be open. I think the gates open at 6 a.m. to allow people to start driving in, which you can see the trucks are starting to move now. So, enough talking. I don't want to do a seven minute intro again. I hope that I was focused this whole time because I just looked and I was blurry as fuck. Um, but yeah, hope you guys joined today's part three. If you haven't checked out part one and part two, stop the video, go check out the videos. Or actually, no. Watch this video and then go back and do it. It's not like it's like you need to watch those two. Watch this video and then go back and watch the other two. Um, but I will catch up to you guys once I get to my spot. Let's hope we get a better spot this time. Sunday we were parked in the back end of the corner. So I'm hoping today we get a good spot. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it guys. Wow. So I literally just asked. I don't know what this guy's doing. I guess we're making two lines. I literally just asked the people at the front what time did he get here and this guy said midnight so they've been sitting here for six hours to sell that's mind-blowing like you have to like obviously you know time is money so if you're sitting here for six hours let's say you make a thousand dollars you have to add those six hours of you waiting here plus the other six hours that you're doing here and it's like okay you make a thousand dollars a hundred dollars an hour but it's like fuck dude just sit here for six hours that's insane uh, but wow, I had no idea. So people get here at midnight just to the gates to be open at six to go at seven. I don't know why people are honking. Damn, low key, I do need a washer and dryer, but there's no shot of me taking that back home. There's two lines now. I don't know if we skip people or not, but we'll see. Some people are honking. Got the clothes set up. Now I'm gonna do the sneakers and I'm gonna have uh, the t-shirts and everything on this one. Appreciate it. First sale deal, Spider-Man shirt, three bucks. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for the support. Two dollars if you want it. Oh, as a whole? Uh, those are 20. So I am currently all set up now. We have, uh, I, I'm so mad. I, I forgot to bring extra hangers, so I just have like extra jackets put up there. But I brought some new stuff, like a Tommy Hilfiger denim jackets, um, the normal same jackets, and then like I said, I just added some extra, the same jerseys there. No price tags, just so that way it makes it easier. 
do have the tennis balls, um, sneakers full setup. If you guys saw the last video, someone actually left that. I guess I'll try to sell for five bucks. I don't really know what to do with it. If the guy comes back, obviously I'll give it to him, but whatnot. And then I did bring some shirts and I laid them out this time versus just having them in a pile because I noticed when I have them in a pile like this, not many people like to go through them. So uh, yeah, this is a little today's setup. She wants one with a cat on it. Oh yeah, those the cat ones sell so fast. I know. What is this? It's like a monster. Chewbacca, I think, from Star Wars. Could be. I don't know. I'm not a Star Wars guy. Neither <laughs> Oh, there's a cat. A cougar. Well, I guess speaking of cats, you probably like my jacket then. It's all blending. Oh, kittens. Yeah, all cats. All right. Watch your jacket. <laughs> Take it off. Yeah, you know the smaller sizes sell, especially like I said, small cat shirts. That one, the polo, fifteen. Uh, I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> well, if you want it for three, let me know. It's a size twelve. Or 13. Guys wearing a bootleg Gucci monogram shirt. I tried to get on camera, but he, he was walking too fast. Three dollars? Three. Okay, what should be? You don't know? Um, should be a large? What do you say here? USA large. No? I don't know. Uh, USA yeah. Extra large. USA extra large. But it fits small. Look, it's small. Yeah, smaller than an XL. Maybe it's shrunk up. Yeah, maybe for the little bird. This is my thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I had, um, Sunday I had two XLs of Cubs and someone bought all of them. It was the national champion. Let me try. See, feel me? I'll buy in here one for the Buffalo Bill. It say medium. Big Huge. Like yeah. Yeah, you always have to try on clothes. They always fit so weird. I'm trying to think if I have any other cub stuff. Don't think so. That's nice good. Yeah, it's not bad. Ah, this year, man, I hate me. I don't even, I don't even put it, especially with outside. <laughs> What, three bucks? Yeah, three bucks, it's yours. I think I, I, I don't even know. Okay. Do you need change? Or you have it? Let me see. No, I don't have any change. Yeah, I got you. Beautiful, here's the change. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Have a good day. So I just sold that Cubs hoodie for three dollars. I bought it for a dollar, so it was faded, super small, like I said, size XL, but fit more like a large. Um, so whatever, get it gone. On to the next one. Uh, a lot of stuff I may even like break even. Like let's say I paid three dollars, I might even sell something for three dollars just because it's been sitting. I've been trying to sell it and. I look at it as it, I'm getting my money back and I can reinvest that into new inventory that I can sell. So when people say like, oh, like you broke even or like only oh, you're making only a dollar, you have to realize I've been trying to sell this stuff for a while now. So the fact that it hasn't been selling, I already tried. Now granted the sneakers that I got yesterday, for example, I'll put those closet I do have out here, but I'm asking full price that I want uh, just because I haven't listed them yet. So stuff that I get like within the next day or two or the, like the past couple days, I don't sell for $3 or $2, but the stuff that's been sitting for months, I definitely just get rid of it and reinvest that into new inventory so that way you, know, you can have some new inventory. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit slow today. I think it's probably the weather, um, but it is still early. It's only 7.45, so let's hope it picks up a little bit. I think 8 o'clock is really when like the gates open and people start coming. So that's why I always say like 8 is when like my start time is. So. Let's see. I'm kinda mad because I'm right by the music, so it's like I can't just have the camera rolling because I'm gonna get copyrighted. But before last Thursday, I was over here, and now I'm kind of like on this end, and then Sunday I was all the way back there, so you can't even see. But uh, yeah, people are still setting up. Like I said, it's only eight o'clock, so now is like when people are supposed to be coming through. Uh, 50. Yeah. 
Fifty. I love when I say a price and people's faces are just like, like fifty dollars. It's like yeah, they're they're worth a hundred. So yeah, fifty bucks if you want them. Fifty bucks. And it's like funny because it's like I'm not gonna sell for five, so they can go put it at their table. Because I've done that before. Is I've sold someone for like ten dollars, and I see their three tables over, and what do they do? They literally just walk to their table and put it on their table. So it's like. I know the tricks and steals like people try to do, and it's like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna fall into it. I know the tricks. They're two different sizes. <laughs> the true religions, thirty. Brand new with tags. If you guys been watching me for a while, you already know about these shirts. But look at the shirt I'm wearing today, right? So see how it's just black and white. Like no, nothing crazy. Now watch what happens when I put it in the sun. Shirt is really showing. You can really see the colors now. Different price, different ones. Sixty. It is required we all stand six feet apart. Thank you and enjoy your time here. I could do thirty. Authentic. No, yeah, some people I tell them and they're like, oh, two dollars. And it's like, I'm sorry, I can't. Vendors to wear a mask or face covering will on swap shop property, both inside the building or outside. This includes all customers and vendors. Any vendors not wearing masks will be closed down, and any customers not wearing masks will be asked to leave. Thank you for your cooperation. Good morning. Ten dollars a bag. There should be like 80 to 100 balls in it. I didn't sit there and count. I tried to put even, even. The true religions are 30. Brand new attack. Yeah. Fifteen. Two different sizes. Brand new, never used. Oh, it's my dog's toy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. And then there's a smaller size too. I think there's an eight and a ten. I think that's a ten. And then that's an eight. I have an extra trash bag if you want to double bag it too. I bought him for my dog, but sadly he's not with me, so. <laughs> I just have extra. So you say $10? Yeah, a bag. And how much is it in there? Uh, about 80 to 100. I, I lost count. I had over a thousand of them. I'm sorry? Eight. 80. Eight. Eight. Do you want to sell eight? Eight dollars. Oh, um. I guess that's fine. How much have I took the both of them? I bet it's 15. I have this bag for sale for three if you want to maybe try to fit it all in there. If not, I have other. Uh... I won't be able to carry it. But I'll, I'll go with the one and be happy, okay? Okay. Thank you. Yeah, I, I won't be able to carry it. Okay, here, I'll double bag it for you. 16. 50. Uh, 45. 30. 30. Hello. Hi. Got a different, different price of different ones. Uh, this I could do five. This I'll do ten. Uh, this ten. And this ten. Uh, 20 for both. 15 for both. 10 and 5. 5. Uh, 10. You don't have the boxes. No boxes, no. I have other ones, but no boxes, sadly. $10. It's a size 11. 
Eleven. You take forty? Um, I'll do forty-five. Uh, you have change? Yeah. Uh, Hundred. Not bad at all. Yeah. Here's a change. Fifteen. Appreciate uh, it. Do you want a plastic bag? Yeah, I forgot to bring it back today. No, you're good. You're good. Here's a Publix bag. Hey. Appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Five. The I think it's a large. How much? Uh, I could do ten on it if you're buying all of them. Usually it's fifteen. Brand new though. Those are uh, thirteen. I have to do fifteen because this one's expensive. That's the thing. The other one not so much, but this one Nike is expensive. Like. Uh, it goes for like 60 to be honest. If I give you 12, if you give it to me. 15 the lowest. Or 5 for the gray. Those are 40. No? I have a bag. Okay, there you go. If you want to keep the hangers, you can keep the hangers too. You must be one dollar. Five? They're just super crisp. You give me four, you, you must be one. They're really crisp, that's why. They're brand new. Thank you. For both? 20. For these two, 20. These, 30. Here you go. I'll get you your five. Adidas pants for three. No, no? Okay, I'll get you five. Here's the change. Thank you. Get you your two dollars. Thank you. If you want both of those, I'll do both. Two for five. The green and the purple. I just want to get rid of those. Okay, I just had a little rush. Um, I ended up selling the Jordan 10s for $45. We got those at Plato's Closet yesterday for $25. Um, yes, I could have sold them for probably $60 online, but a quick $20, I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, and then a lady came and bought uh, two jackets for $15. It was like a basic Nike, like little embroidered, and then like a fur jacket. Um, another lady bought two jackets and a Birkenstocks for $25 and then she just bought a jersey for three dollars. I also sold a Nike um, soccer jersey for 15, so we just had like a little rush. That was like the, the past couple minutes, but uh, yeah, so letting you guys know. Oh, and I sold those Adidas pants, the track pants for three dollars. We got for a dollar, so you know, moving stuff, moving stuff. They made this for the sneakers. That's pretty dope. What'd you pay for it? Oh, that's nice. You gonna use it as a display case? Yeah, pretty much. Hell yeah. That's dope. Yeah. It's almost like a lunchbox too. <laughs> it's fire. <laughs> One good thing about this spot today is that I can kind of hide from the sun because my back is towards, or my back is against the sun versus before my face was towards the sun and i got a really good tan i'm not gonna lie i was like yo this is kind of fire i come out here to sell and i get a tan but uh yeah today i'm kind of just hovering behind my car so that way i don't get the sun but it's funny because it's what time is it right now it's nine o'clock and people are still setting up like this lady next to me hasn't even set up yet damn that shirt is sick your shirt is cool what is it is it old? Oh, maybe. I had it about three years. Yeah? Yeah, it looks sick. The graphic is cool. Yeah, it's about three years. I'm about that type of life. Yeah. You represent, right? Represent me. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Tags. You can try on anything if you need to. Fits like a medium. 30. Yeah, authentic Burberry. 
Yeah, no, yeah, that is some having some don't. Perfect. So that was a red and black Nike jacket for ten dollars. I just sold. I could do two for five. It's funny. Someone was like. Hey, that's a nice car. Are you selling that? I'm like, no, I'm not selling my car. He's like, is that a, is that a 2010? I was like, a 2012. He's like, that's nice. He's like, it's a V6 too. I was like, yeah, it's a V6. He's like, oh man, it's funny. Uh, people want to buy everything out here. Bag. Uh, yeah, I got you change. There you go. Change. There's the bag for those. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I just sold those Kappa lime green sweatshorts for uh, $15 and we bought them for $2.50 so that was a nice little flip. Uh, it is currently 9.42 and like I said it's super slow today. I'll probably leave around 12. Um, since I'm not in the sun it's kind of nice. I can kind of just chill and relax but I'm starving. I am so hungry. I'm like I'm thinking about Uber Eats something here while I'm waiting just so I can eat but uh We'll see, I'll keep you guys updated and see. Hopefully get uh, another rush and make some more sales. Oh, that's sick. That's nice. This was pretty exciting. This type of stuff is starting to go up right now. It's uh, Cars 2. Disney cars 2. I got them at a dollar a piece and... I mean, that's wild. So you're just going to sit on them? People, yeah, people are into the Pixar stuff. Yeah. No, yeah, Disney stuff is crazy hyped just, right now. I just got a Monsters Inc. shirt a week ago. Yeah. That's 2001. I paid 200 for it. And I got it at a good price. That's crazy. Yeah, so. I don't want to say, uh, like. Years ago, we'd be buying that shirt for, like, 20 bucks. Well, last night, I was watching. Who was I watching? Uh, Wiz. He was doing the after party Wednesdays or whatever. And he sold, or someone auctioned off a Tiger Woods bootleg. Sold for, like, 800 850 right. Those are 13 and it's like, dude, Tiger Wood bootlegs were selling for 300 at the most. Yeah, at the most. It's crazy. Everything's gone up in value. And I, you know what it is? It's the unemployment money, sadly. Yeah, yeah. It's the unemployment money. Everyone's more willing to spend their money. Yeah. And everyone's like home. Yeah. They're, they're like looking into it. A lot more people are getting into it. Yeah. Well, another vintage reseller, uh, Lost and Found Vintage, actually came and cashed out. They bought one... They bought all these hangers and spent $140, so shout out to them. Uh, there was wriggle room, uh, you know, we, we both came with a number. Uh, I said 160, he was at uh, 150, so we met at 140. Or, no, I was at 160, he was at 130, and we met at 140. I don't know, by the way, I sold 140, so that was definitely a good chunk of change. Um, and, you know, that definitely cleared out a good amount of uh, the rack now, so that was pretty nice. Just got rid of another bag of balls for uh, 10 bucks. Do you guys remember in episode two, uh, I sold, or I told you guys how I saw someone that I saw from episode one that I sold him Crocs. He's here again, look, let me show you guys. I'll be honest, that's one thing that I do enjoy. When other people buy stuff and they actually buy it for themselves and they use it and they get good use out of it. Like, I think I sold those for like $5, you know, something very cheap. But, uh, you know, he's putting good use to it. I've saw for now the two weeks that he's been using it straight. So it's nice to see that versus people trying to get stuff for $5 and then they want to resell it themselves. So I enjoy better when it goes to a good home and people actually use it. Just sold that uh, Periola's duffel bag for $5. I just sold a pair of Crocs, baby Crocs, for $5. So it is currently 10.55, uh, basically 11 p.m. And uh, I think I'm gonna start, or 11 a.m., sorry, 11 p.m., uh, 11 a.m. And I think what I'm gonna start doing is, I think I'm gonna start wrapping up, uh, start putting stuff in the car. It's slowed down significantly. Uh, I don't think to stay for another hour is gonna be worth it. Uh, if it was a Saturday or Sunday, I would, but the fact that it's a Thursday, it's just kind of slow. and. Time is money and I'm hungry so I want to get some food. I want to wash my car today. Uh, I have to edit today's video so I have a lot of stuff to do throughout the day so. I'm selling this Tommy Hilfiger denim jacket for uh, 10 bucks. Well it is 11.06 now and I decided you know what? It's done. It, let's just, I have too much stuff to do. Uh, but I counted, I made $320. So figure eight to about 11. Um, 
So figure a little over $100 an hour, we'll just call it even at $100 an hour, which again, amazing time, you know, the past, this is part three now, and I've made over $100 an hour, so uh, really good, really good. I hope you guys did enjoy. Uh, I am gonna end the video here. I'll probably make another video of like me going to get food and like kind of continuing, but I feel like this one's already kind of too long already. So I'm just gonna end the video here. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Comment down below that you guys love this content, that you guys wanna see more of it. Uh, this is part three. If you haven't seen part two and one, make sure you guys go check out that. Make sure you guys go check out the other vlogs. Yesterday's video was a Plato's Closet find and we found amazing deals, like just crazy stuff there. Uh, Burberry, Jordans, just insane stuff. So make sure you guys go check that out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video at 8 p.m. And don't forget guys, let's get it. <laughs>